Hello, and welcome to this let's play of Planetary Annihilation. A very cool looking game that I'm really excited about, uh, well, playing, uh, spending a lot of time in, so uh, let's just get started right away. I'm gonna go for the single player Galactic War, and as far as I can tell, uh, you have to like, start conquering the galaxy. And let's, uh, let's select a cool unit. Uh, Alex, that looks cool to me. Size, epic, sure, why not? Let's go to war. Greetings, Commander. Much has been lost since the reawakening. Yeah, we'll skip that. Galactic map online. Okay, so this is uh, the entire universe, and we have to conquer it. And we start out at this point, and from there on out, we have to go uh, capture stuff. We start on the planet Horizon, or not the planet, the uh, solar system Horizon, and we're gonna go to Kuyong first. Let's just see what's there. Searching. Speed upgrade available. Vehicle engine tech increases the speed of all vehicles. Top. So when you go to these planets, you can actually find upgrades for your, well, for your battlefield actually. And in this case, I found a little cool stuff uh, about well, speed increasement. Defense Thank you. By the looks of it, there's an enemy over there. Speed upgrade Orbital engine tech increased. Scanning. New technology acquired. Reject this. Uh, I wanna, I wanna get some different. Uh, upgrades, really. Air tech upgrade Advanced air tech. That sounds good. Let's do delete the orbital tech and download the advanced air tech. Okay, now let's see if we can start attacking someone. Um, Hatumoto. Sounds very Japanese. Okay, uh, let's start attacking him. So, planetary annihilation, it's about destroying other planets and other, well, AIs and their entire planets and units and everything. So, uh, yeah, the trailer looked really cool, so I'm just gonna see uh, what happens. I tried out uh, a first gameplay earlier to test out the recording and I really had no idea what I, what I was doing, so I hope that I'm a little bit better by now. Yeah, the loading screen is pretty long, but then again, the battlefield and the epicness of that is is worth it, really. I think the game looks pretty cool. Um, the graphics are very neat, actually. So they're very simplistic, I want to say, but still very, very, uh, well, how do you say that? Very, well, they, they look good. That was a rubbish explanation, I know that. So we need to select a, a moon in this case. That's a, that's funny. So we have this orbital system, and normally, at least in my previous map, I had all these other planets. But now we have this one planet who has two moons. So I, I'm guessing the enemy is going to spawn on the other moon. Let's see. Oh, this one has a lot of resources. And the other one. And the other one has a lot of resources as well. Yeah, I'm just going to spawn on this guy. There we go. We launch. A big explosion. Cool. Let's start building stuff. An energy plant. That sounds good, right? Let's do that quite near these um, math, these metal extractors. So. I thought it would be a smaller guy, but it's actually a pretty large person. Or a mech. A mecha. So the cool thing about this game is that you have this planet where you can build on and you can actually move around on this entire planet and then actually move to other planets and moons in the solar system. And apparently this solar system has only one planet. But that planet has two moons, which is really cool. You don't see that often. At least not in our... in the uh, sun's solar system. 
Okay, a mass extractor. That is something we need. And when we're done with that, we're gonna build a, a vehicle factory so that we can build some other building uh, unit types. I don't know all the shortcuts yet, so please don't be mad at me for uh, being a bit of a noob. I like this career. I really do. Oh, that's also really cool. All the shadows and stuff. That's all real time. This is also very cool. Once you're done, uh, a vehicle, uh, a building is done, you can actually double click on it and it goes to that particular planet or moon. And let's build two other fabricating units. Top. Okay, so this guy's ready. And this guy can build some other stuff as well, like a teleporter and orbital deep space raider. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Can build on there, what's that? Why is that? Is it in the way of the other one? Can I rotate the links? I'm not sure how to do that. Um hmm. guess I can. And if you can, I don't know how. Let's build another energy plant with the two of them. And you can build a laser defense. And in the meantime, this guy can produce five tanks and five anti-air units. There we go. So we don't have enough energy at the moment, but as soon as we have this guy ready, we should. As well as for the netto or the uh, metal income. So what else can we build? A torpedo launcher, we don't need that. An umbrella. A defense platform designed to take out orbital units above it. So that sounds cool. Let's build it. Yeah, this guy is also ready. Um, and so, yeah, let's build another one of these guys over here. These are my tanks. I need to send them to the other planet because that's where the enemy is. And I guess I should start building a base over there as well. But first, uh. Metal capacity reached. More energy storage is required. Oh, uh, what did she say? More energy required? So this guy's ready. Let's move him up into the world. start building other stuff as well. The more metal the better, I guess. This guy still isn't finished. I love the shaders. How oh, they work. Like the building hasn't been completed here. Oh crap. They are actually already on my planet. Wow. Or perhaps we both started on this planet. That's a possibility, I guess. Well, let's build a couple more of these guys then. Wow, they are already here. So, I'm not sure if that is actually the case, but I assumed that my enemy would just take the other moon, but they are actually on my moon. Wow, look how many resources this planet has. Uh, what's my planet? Warlock? It's seriously called that? Warlock. Oh, where are you guys going? Tons of enemy tanks out there. Oh, you guys, you can build some more uh, turrets. <gasps> Radar. Radar sounds good. You can build another metal deposit thing. If our enemy is here on this planet, I really should focus on trying to destroy him as soon as possible. There they are. I also don't have to bother building air units for now. Oh, I really need more tanks. Oh wow, they're all here already. <laughs> wow! 
Okay, at least I have some air units. Okay, guys, uh, speed it up a little bit. Hey, tanks, top, you're on your way. You can go over here. Shit. I guess I need to be a little bit fast. Why right, they did have some air units, which are now gone. Uh, you guys, you know what? Let's just uh, build an air factory. Oh crap, I built the wrong type. I built the wrong unit type. <laughs> Oops, what the heck? More energy storage. Now that capacity doesn't matter. Uh, for now, we can just. So let's see, where is the enemy? We have about six moving targets. Whoops. How stupid, I've been building the wrong kind of unit. At least you guys can build some turrets over there. You too. Oh, wow. Uh, get back, get back. Yeah. I find it funny that these um, building units can actually destroy buildings. Could destroy buildings, because now they can't. Oh, they're attacking. Let's get some uh, defense. Systems in. Building structures, yeah, I don't need that. Okay, then let's build another vehicle factory because we need those units really fast. <laughs> the tank gets down quick. Attack. Uh, you know what? Attack this guy. Once you're done, top. Let's build another one. Anti-air missiles. Look at that. Come on, move it. I, I love these kind of games. You have to be really fast, really spend a lot of time on production, producing units. What's these? Uh, let's build a couple of these. Oh, don't like that. Guys, built some anti air missiles. You can build one there, and you can build one there. Come on, read up. Guys, you can do better than this. Uh, patrol, reclaim. Oh, patrol sounds good. Same thing goes for that guy. Unbelievable, you need to be really fast in this game. Especially if it's the same planet. But that makes this game even more exciting. Although I wish I could have shown you a little guys a little bit about uh, the board portal transport and stuff. But I guess we'll just have to do that in another video. Okay, very well. Come on. As long as you have units, just attack. Things going down there. He's uh, occupying the planet quite fast. I'm not as fast, unfortunately. But he is going to have a problem real soon. He's going to get any chance of attacking me this Eight tanks and a 
any of those as well. Okay, guys, move on over there. Destroy as much as possible. That is probably their commander, I assume. At least their air units get, are getting annihilated quite quickly. Top. And I don't know what that is. Oh, that's also a metal extractor. I'm not sure what that is. Is that their commander? That would be kind of cool because then I can immediately destroy him. It wasn't their commander. By the looks of it. Let's just see what happens if I attack that region. Uh, how's my AC unit? Let's build another turret. Ah, uh, the anti-air unit is gone. Uh, how are these guys doing? Uh, just attack these guys there. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, that was left plasma. I forgot that. Keep on. No, that wasn't it either. Come on, guys, move. I'd like to move it, move it. So should you. Um, you guys can go to their main base. Just start attacking. See how far you can get. You know what, since you're going that direction too, you might as well do the same thing. Enemy commander, detect them. A lot of them. Yeah, there goes my army. Go stand there and destroy stuff. Really, that's, that's the most important thing right now. It's okay. Okay, so the uh, enemy commander is too strong at the moment. That doesn't matter. How strong are those flaming tanks? You guys can fire if you want to. Okay, nice. Wow, their commander is really strong. guy keeps getting under attack as well. Um, so the flying thing, the tanks are done. Let's just build the Italian of those. Let's build the Italian of those again. Two. Same guys. Okay, uh, you guys are doing nothing. That's great. Nope. Control two over there. And you guys can control there. I'm not sure what that is. It's useful. I really like building up large defenses. Although I guess I should consider building some uh, additional... So this guy is building a lot of stuff here. I have to say, because of this round battlefield, this planetary battlefield, or moon battlefield, it's really difficult to get a grip of where things are being built. You know what, you can do a patrol over there. Tanks, a few tanks ready. What, what does that mean? My air turret go. What does that mean? This is just a large collection of many air turrets. You can attack it if you want to, but you're screwed if you're gonna do so. So the enemy doesn't seem to be expanding any further. None of that is really uh, something I have a problem with at this point. Because, uh, Those bombers are very annoying. Looks like they are attacking the same point over and over again. What's my commander doing? 
but at least that gives me the advantage of knowing where they are going to attack. Move over there. Destroy another one of those guys. No, just pissing them off, really, at this point. I think I want to destroy this factory first, so guys, come on, let's move to that point. I'll let you do this. I should build less of these. Less of these. Build some more of these. Those air units are treacherous as hell. Um, sure, you can build another one of those guys. Money apparently. It's going very slowly, but at least I'm building my army. Uh, the other army's gone already. Top. Since my the enemy is always attacking there, let's just do that as well. Outside the base, and now they're going for it. Yeah, now you're just pissing me off. You see that they're just getting close enough to attack me, but not really. So that means that they're just gonna wait till they have enough troops to actually. It's kind of funny. I'm gonna move in for the attack even further you guys as well. At least I have two anti-air units and I have a massive load of tanks here as well. Okay, so this time I hope that my army is at least large enough to destroy some buildings. Let's see if I'm producing enough of these guys. Yes I do. These as well. What's the commander doing? We have couple of these turrets. Let's build some more. Between the rubble. Come on, you can do this. Let's move. Wow! Okay, come on, you can fire those air units. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, this is not going that well. Wow! Look at that! That, that <laughs> Kicked my ass there. Although, he's very slow at rebuilding again, uh, which is my advantage, really. You know what, since we're doing that, um, you know what, guys? Uh, you get over here. Oh, he's pissed off now. He's really pissed off. Let's build some units over Build a mass extractor. He's semi attacking. Let's see how many tiers are that. One, two, three, four, and then these two guys. Uh, so let's do some patrolling. You can automatically repair stuff for me. Okay, all things considered, the enemy is not that hard. I mean, he could have won already if you really wanted to. Um, because I'm just a starter and I'm really a noob at this at the moment. Keep the hat out of the way. Sorry, you guys. Let's see how things are going down here. Tanks are still producing stuff. So I really should focus on destroying the outer bases because they might be building new stuff already. Yeah, they're just building new stuff. I was smart enough to build the... Uh, what is he collecting stuff? I'm not sure what he's doing. Rip, uh, this tower is utterly destroyed, I think, so he's... At least I'm destroying his army this, this far. You can build an, an 
tie here. Just attack the outskirts first. See what happens. Just what are they doing there? It's massive turrets here. I'm not sure why they are doing that. I'm gonna attack him on this front first. Sure, shoot out those guys top. Really, really good of you. Twenty of those and twenty of those top. Keep on moving. At least the uh, enemy tank production is being halted at this point. They have quite a lot of air units as well, which I thought wasn't necessary, but as it turned out, it really was. Okay, keep on, keep on firing, guys. Wow, I'm destroying one of my tanks again. Six more, keep on moving. Want to destroy as much of this person as possible. Ouch, looks like the vehicle factory destroyed. What was that? Oh, that's the enemy's vehicle factory. Okay, well, that's good because that means I can move on. We destroy this guy and then we move on to these energy sources. Now I can just go around this area as well. Uh, you guys, you know, you can actually just move around a little bit. Okay, that would be awesome. Repair stuff. Uh, you build another tower in the meantime. See how my units are doing. Yeah, they're just destroying, havocing the place. Destroy everything along the way, top. Okay, I think the AI is kind of exhausted by attacking me here. Commander is under attack. Where is my commander? Is this my commander? It is. He doesn't have that much. Oh, he does have a lot of health. Look at that. Perfect. Destroying more and more of his stuff. This guy on the one tower left doesn't really matter. He's trying to rebuild some of this power plants is really failing at that. Bot factory located. Focus on a Google bot factory. Shame. So is this the enemy boss? I assume so. Factory destroyed, that should help some things, I guess. Ooh, this guy seems to be destroyed pretty much. These guys could concentrate their fire on this turret, these turrets that would really help. Put one of these guys down. Just move over there and start firing at things. I think that's just the important thing to do right now. This turret is down as well. Units down, top. I do have to say, I'm um, losing a lot of units, so come on, hurry it up. It does seem to me that the this air unit is... Wow, only a couple of them left. Come on, almost. Almost. One more hit. One more hit. Yes! Wow, right in time. Oh, that looks cool. Nice effect. All these buildings are being destroyed as well. Oh yeah, that's a stuff. Congratulations, Commander. Hey, first victory in uh, planetary annihilation in just about 30 minutes. Well, look at that. 100% efficiency. So I do have to be honest, the AI stopped expanding at a certain moment, which was really beneficial for me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made it. But um, yeah, great first game, I guess. Um, go to the war. Not sure what Chronocam is. 
system captured. <laughs> ah, that feels good. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play and had a very good look at what Planetary Annihilation is. Hope to see you again for a next tutorial or a video tutorial. Either one of those. Ah, have a nice evening. Or day. Goodbye.